Welcome back nerds, Fino here with a lightning fast guide for the Amazonas event. This one works like Setsubun, which if you aren't familiar with that, is a style of event where you climb towers, each encounter being a floor for the most part. It's all about pacing yourself, because anytime you finish one of these encounters, the servants you sent are exhausted, taking several hours to recover. Because of this, it's not in your interest to send a full team into combat unless you're sure the node's difficulty calls for it. You also can't use friendless supports most of the time, so team compositions will usually be two attackers at the minimum power level you think will clear the node, and a filler servant. Matahari, Caligula, Steno, that sort of thing. I usually hold power picks like Super Heavy Berserkers and Meta Supports back for the 10th floor encounters, which are harder. If you want to plan further ahead than that, you can look up the encounter list online to decide which servants to keep in reserve. Now you don't have to sit on your ass while your servants come off cooldown. Some of the time will pass just in the course of doing the event, but you also have access to facilities that accelerate recovery. On top of this, some servants have an affinity for certain locations, and they'll get refreshed faster if you send them there. There's a craft essence which increases bond points for whoever you have it on. If you don't have a pressing need for a stardom or good a good a poster girl, you may as well put it on your filler servants. Various other rewards from the event include fragments of a twinkling star and bond grails. And let's not forget about Penthesilea's Jeff Bezos outfit. Classic drip. Next, this event's got a number of solo raids. These have the fatigue restriction, but your progress is saved and you can smash your head into them as many times as it takes to win. You have a maximum of 15 turns per attempt and these bosses have effects that trigger at 50% health, so it could be worth buffing up just before crossing that threshold. Get the damage in while it's easy. Some select highlights include an Assassin Dragon, one of the few times Sieg's an appropriate boss killer, and the Bull of Heaven. Good luck. There's a challenge quest too, I'll have a separate video for it, but the TLDR is that you'll want to grab a foreigner off your friends list. Overall, CEO Crisis is the kind of event you seriously need to start early if you want to avoid having any soul your pants moments. The rewards are quite solid and it features one of the less common event types for a nice change of pace. That's all for now, let me know if you found this guide helpful and I'll see you next time. Peace out.